There's something special about comic strips. No matter what age you are, they draw you in, entertain, and capture the imagination. When I was a kid, comic strips would come in the Sunday paper. I would count down the minutes till I could fly out of bed, grab that fresh paper from the doorstep, and dive into the comic strip section with a glass of chocolate milk. As a communication device for learning, they are underutilized. But with their pairing of words and pictures, they can do things few other mediums can. Let's find out how. Hi, I'm Lena from Canvas Design School. In this video, I'll be walking you through everything you need to know about creating comic strips your audience will love, what makes a good comic strip, the key elements, and how to share your designs with the world. We're releasing new videos every week on the Canva channel, so make sure you like and subscribe below so you don't miss out. People love stories and visuals and bright colors, and we enjoy being entertained. Comic strips tick all these boxes, and they stick around in our mind long after we view them. The cool thing about comic strips is they can entertain and educate simultaneously because they allow you to simplify and explain complex concepts through images and dialogue that everyone relates to. I've taught in the classroom for over a decade and have seen how important this is in helping children learn. Let's say you wanted to teach students the power of being kind to others. How could you convey that message in a comic strip? On the Canva homepage, type in comic strip. You'll see a bunch of templates pop up and I'll come back to those later. For now, let's start with a blank one. We'll add the title, Random Acts of Kindness, at the top so we know what we're aiming for. Next, I'm going to drop a square shaped grid in from the Elements tab and duplicate it. These can be resized and arranged any way you like. Grids are super helpful in creating a flow for your story and creating a uniform design. To make this design pop from the get-go, I'll fill each of these grids in a bright color. You might be wondering, does it matter what colors you use? Traditionally, comic strips are known for their bright, wacky colors, but a good comic strip has to entertain and educate. You've got to make sure that your message is clear and easy to read. If you're using a white background, you have more choice with the colors you use in the elements on top. Because I've chosen bold background colors here, I need to make sure any colors I add still stand out. Complementary colors would work, you just wanna make sure your images pop off the page. The aim is for your audience to understand the story and to not have to work too hard for it. If you head to the Elements tab and click on Graphics, you can find a ton of comic style elements to help you create your strip. I'm going to use these blobby style characters to make my strip really fun and engaging for students. Okay, so what other design elements are essential for a comic strip? Think back to the comics you loved reading as a child. The over-the-top expressions on people's faces were always my favorite part. Like when Dennis the Menace is plotting his latest evil plan. And although it might have been a while since you've last read a comic book, the key elements haven't changed at all. You can easily change the color of these graphics and add in facial expressions depending on the message you want to convey. For example, happiness, sadness, anger, frustration, pain, laughter, love. Think about the mood you want to evoke through your characters. They now have some personality. I'm going to add some extra shapes to my design like balloons, flowers, hearts, and maybe even a party hat at the end here. All this strip needs now is some comic dialogue to bring it to life. You might be wondering what fonts are best suited for a comic strip. Fonts like Bangers, Architect, Daughter, and Coming Soon work really well. You can also search comic in the fonts bar and Canva will give you a huge list of comic style fonts to choose from. For this design, I'm going to use the font Joao because it's perfect for students. If you want to place your text in the speech bubble, you can search for this in the Elements tab. There, that's looking pretty good in no time at all. But what if you don't even have that much time? Or maybe you just want to start inspired and not create a comic strip from scratch. Canva has a ton of ready-made templates to work with. Being a whiz at design has never been so easy. Just click on the templates and type in comic strip into the search bar and browse through all the ready-made templates until you find the one that suits your needs. 
The drawings and all these templates look incredible. So you might be wondering, how can someone create a great comic strip without knowing how to draw? Don't worry, drawing has never been my forte either. The great thing about comic strip templates on Canva is they come with their own illustration sets. You can find these in most end pages of each template. You can use these different characters, objects, and facial expressions to tell any story you want without even lifting a pencil. If there's a particular graphic you can't find in the illustration set, simply head to the Elements tab and search for it. For example, if I wanna change this Swiss cheese plant to a cactus plant, all I have to do is search for cactus and choose graphic and find the one that will work best in my comic strip. Let's just say you're a budding cartoonist yourself and you want to upload your own sketches. Can I just say, I am so in awe of you. Just head over to the Uploads tab and upload any media you like. You can then drag and drop it into the editor. Resize it, flip it, whatever you need. If you've created it in another drawing program that exports SVG files, when you upload it, you can even affect the colors, up to five of them. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Sometimes you might wanna collaborate on your design, school project, group work, that sort of thing. Just click the share button and add in as many email addresses as you like or copy the link and send it on. Your friends can jump in and start adding their own characters and scenes. It's also a great way for people to check your work and give you feedback just by using the comments. Super handy, right? I wish I were this lucky when I was at school. As always, when your comic design is complete, you can publish it in many ways. Click the share button and go to download and choose whether you want to download your strip in a PDF format, a series of JPEGs or PNGs, or even a video. These are easy to send via email or upload to a social site. There's also the option to print your design in so many ways and get your prints delivered to your door. Yeah, I think a poster of this strip would look amazing. And there you have it. You just watched a 10 minute masterclass in creating a Canva comic strip. The best part is you don't need any fancy design, software or drawing tools and you definitely don't need an art degree. You can literally hop onto Canva right now, explore the comic strip templates and start creating one today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this has inspired you to unleash your inner artist and have a go at designing your very own comic strip. Remember to subscribe to get notified when content becomes available or stick around and watch the next set of Canva videos.